happy, 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 happy retirement to you. Happy, happy retirement to you. Happy retirement to you. Happy retirement to you. Happy retirement, dear Rachel. Happy retirement to you. This video is dedicated to Rachel. Uh, trampoline, I think you mean Ben. Who's Ben? Wait, are, are they the same person? Well, well um, um, this special video is dedicated to you, our dear foundress, Ben Schatz, and your better half, Rachel. Now, we didn't want to hog the spotlight. We didn't? <sighs> ah! But we prepared this tribute honoring you and your legacy from some of your most dedicated fans. And delusional fans. <laughs> Roll it. Happy retirement, Rachel slash Ben. This is Kevin Smith Kirkwood slash Trixie 2.0 slash Black Trixie slash Trixie Houston. Just saying how happy I am for you, how proud I am of you. Wishing you a happy retirement. Um, I'm backstage here on Broadway and I can honestly say I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and my time in the Kinsey Six. I'm so proud of my time in the Kinsey Six. You guys gave me my equity card actually. And I learned so much from you, not only personally, but professionally. Um, and I'm so glad that even though you're retiring, you're gonna continue writing for the group because the world still needs your wit, humor, and your perspective and your fierce courageousness. I love you. Enjoy all the rest that life has to offer and I can't wait to come down and visit you in PV. Ah, Cause we got some time now, right? I love you so much. Congratulations. Hey Ben, Jim Oakley here with your nephew Scooter. Scooter, say hi. Hi, yes I'm one of those parents. <laughs> Uh, we wish you well uh, in this transition. Well, not that transition, but this transition. And uh, uh, we've all benefited from your uh, wit and heart and sometimes raunchiness. Always laughing and always touched by your performances, sometimes touched in bad ways. And uh, I've been thrilled to uh, follow you. Some would say stalked you. Uh, uh, to many locations, starting from Ju Josie's Juice Joint to Provincetown to Off-Broadway and other shows in New York and Chicago and all over San Francisco and uh, in Provincetown and other locations. And I am just so thrilled uh, for you in uh, this time ahead. I know you're going to continue to be creative. And um, I consider myself a groupie. And uh, I'd say one of my highlights uh, was uh, after we became friends, you came and you uh, sat on my lap during a performance in the audience and sang Where the Goys Are. And you later told me that that was uh, the cut that you used for, I think it was the second album that that's on. And uh, uh, I'm especially appreciative because I don't have blonde hair that glows, so I'm glad you made an exception for me. So again, congratulations. I look forward to coming and celebrating your uh, other upcoming milestone. Uh, I love you, we all love you, and congrats. Hi, Ben. I put on my special wig for this video to uh, wish you a happy retirement. So I found this picture of us from Thanksgiving, clearly a long time ago. There's you, me, your mom, and a little bit of mine in the background. And I don't know if you can see it, but I'm handing you a grape, which you subsequently put into your nose and I put one into mine. So I don't have any grapes. I don't actually like grapes. I think it's from all those years of boycotting them. So I, I have this olive, so, uh, okay, so, happy, happy retirement. Your time with the Kinseys has been amazing, and I uh, can't wait to see what you're up to next. Uh, can't wait to watch it, listen to it, or 
maybe read it. I'm rooting for the reading. And I hope you have the most invigorating, relaxing, uh, exciting, enjoyable time with new horizons and excitement. I love you very much. And have a great, great retirement. Hi, Ben. I'm Nathan. I'm Nathan. I'm Nathan. I'm Spencer. I'm Spencer. I'm Jeff. I'm Jeff. <laughs> we, should we ever go on stage, really? Anyway, Katie's the boss now, boss woman. Trying, trying the best. <laughs> and we're, we're sending you a message, Ben, because I hear you're retiring. <laughs> what on earth are you doing retiring? What are you going to do? Yes, you're going to write. You're going to write all these very funny uh, songs and stories that... You're going to do what she does and says that she's retiring, but you're actually not retiring at whatsoever. Well, he's not going to travel. <laughs> and yes, you see, I had my hair done for you. <laughs> <laughs> my hair went all, you know, horrible. I look like the guy from... What's the guy from um, that film? The Professor. Oh, um... From Back to the Future. From Back to the Future. I look like him uh, every his day. What's his name? I don't know. But the, that guy, and now I had my hair done just for you, Ben. <laughs> just want to say how wonderful it was that Kinsey Six were at the Gilded Balloon and the times we were in Adelaide. And that's really where I got to know you, where we sat in the, in the Bar, French the club. French Bar. And I had good old chats. I haven't been to Adelaide since, you know, I don't think. No, I really no, don't. I myself. We would love you to come back. And if Kinsey Six comes back to the Gilded Balloon, then Ben, you have to come. You have to come. Uh, as the entourage, okay? <laughs> and you can just tell them what to do. Have a lovely uh, retirement party and we're sending all of our love to you. Lots of love. Come back to Edinburgh. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Hey Ben, 25 years, who would have thought you'd shed that button-down, masculine, lawyering look for that scrappy, lascivious, wise-cracking, pubic hair-tossing, drag-ass femme gender presentation that we know as our beloved Bode and Below the Belt Rachel. When we first met in March 2001, folks were calling the Kinseys strictly a West Coast phenomenon with no national following. Well, thank you for contaminating the public consciousness and spreading your legs, your voice, and your brilliance west of the Castro. So lucky from the first day I got to convince Tropical Joes in P-Town to gamble on you and McKenzie's sight unseen. So thrilled to my marrow, we shared a common politic, and we got to change red states into rosy shades of purple. As your brilliance, naughty, bawdy, kick-ass politics bore through unknowing ways and captured a new generation to queer progressive politics, boldness, sex positivity, and pride, all with a heavy dose of feminism. Ben, you are truly one of a kind, and I fear what you have in store for the world on the next step of your journey. Love you and your utterly taboo ways. You're telling me it's over, Ooh. that you're going away. Ooh. Now you say retirement's Ooh. for Ben. Well, let me say, I'm delighted for you. Congrats, Ben Schatz, on a very well-deserved retirement. Honey, 25 years. Yes, it's time to kick those heels off and that get that wig off and enjoy. Um, I'm really, really thrilled for you. I just wanted to send a quick video to say how grateful I am for you. I had to um, do a little tribute to Song for an Answering Machine. It's one of my all-time Kinsey favorites and special to me because it's the first song I ever heard you guys do live as the opening number of The Bald Sopranos. And 
it's a, a connection that I made with you guys that has been such a big part of my life. Um, and uh, just wanted to send all my kisses, all my hugs. Honey, too many memories to share on a video. I couldn't figure out how to make it all happen in a relatively concise video. So we will just have to share a cocktail and share memories next time. I'm in Puerto Vallarta, which I will be. So glad I get to see you when I'm there. Lots of kisses, lots of hugs. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Lots of gratitude for you. Honey, enjoy. Love you. Mwah. I'm Maurice Smolino, and I directed something like 18 music videos for the Kinsey Six. So, what can I say about Ben Schatz? It hasn't been written on a hundred bathroom walls. Or a dozen, or maybe just mine. <clears throat> Anyway, I first met Ben after Kinsey Six Show a dozen years ago. Little did I know that a few years later, I would end up going from fan to collaborator. The joy of working with Ben and his many works is wading neck deep into his many biting parodies. But as wonderful as those are, what I appreciate the most is the poignant stuff, the heartfelt stuff, the brave stuff where he just tells it like it is. Uh, working with Ben on our video shoots is always terrific. Uh, because he has the ability to let go creatively and leave me to play with the presentation of the material. And while he was full of ideas, he never once said to me, we have to do it this way. He'd only say, what would you think if we did this? Um, there's a delightful behind the scenes clip from one video shoot where he says, things I'll do for a laugh by Ben Schatz. Uh, but the truth is, while he'll do almost anything for a laugh, um, from stuffing money in his mouth to telling a faux TSA agent to spank him harder, uh, those things he'll do are always constrained by a certainty that the laugh is never at the expense of those who don't deserve it, and that those com laughs communicate truths, often hard ones. Uh, and that's what I'll most remember about his work, and why I'm not heartbroken that he's retiring from touring, because even as Rachel will be chugging Cheetos on a beach, I know that the man behind the queen will still be making us laugh and think, often at the same time. Uh, thanks for letting me be a small part of some of this, Ben. Oh, and Rachel, you can nibble my Cheetos anytime. Hello, Ben. It's your friend Coco Peru here backstage, the glamorous palm. And uh, I just wanted to say congratulations, darling, on your retirement. This is wonderful. And in fact, I'm coming right up there with you pretty soon. But, um, oh, the door just opened by itself. Anyway, the glamorous life of a drag queen backstage at the palm in Puerto Vallarta. Anyway, darling, um, I remember the first time that I saw the Kinsey Six and I realized that I wasn't just watching something that was entertaining. I was watching something that could literally change people's hearts and minds while being entertaining. And I was so utterly enthralled and inspired and felt even more so supported as a younger gay person at that time. And I have followed the Kinsey Six for all of these years, and I've had the pleasure recently, really, of getting to know you personally. And um, you are a man of such integrity, and despite retiring, you will always be an activist, and you just can't help it. Anyway, um, and I also want to just acknowledge you for sing single-handedly making ugly drag a thing. I mean, honey, you nailed it. All right, darling, enjoy your retirement. I'm jealous, and I love you. Mwah. Hey, Ben, it's Maurice, a.k.a. Trixie 1.0, giving you a big shout-out from here at Harvey Milk Plaza, where 26 years ago today, it all began. I remember fondly that day when we uh, came out here in our scanty and really tacky outfits and put out the buck duck and I think collected all of $36. And well, that was a fine beginning to an incredible legacy of 26 years that you, my dear, have been the brainchild and uh, motivator behind. Your, your brilliance, your uh, tenacity, your fabulousness, your, your merkins, uh, your uh, panties and the things that they contained and everything else that you bring to the Kinsey Six have made it what it has become today. So congratulations, darling. I'd like to raise a little toast to you and maybe have a little drink going at it. Mm. Nothing like vodka at 11 o'clock in the morning. So here's to you, my dear, your big heart, 
your big brain and that big freaking bow that you wear, it, it's really largely due to you that all of this has happened. So congratulations, love. And um, hope to see you soon. There may be many other Kinsey shows And they'll be singing there with someone new Though they may sing a million songs But how can they ring true If there will never ever be another you Cause there will never ever be another Rachel like you Hey Ben! You're awesome. You're a mensch. It's been a pleasure working with you at Sing in Edinburgh, in Puerto Vallarta, wishing the very best to you. Hello there, Benjamin Schatz. Mark here from Sunny Ahihik, uh, just sending you a little message to uh, wish you a happy retirement. Uh, I know you're going to keep busy. It's been an absolute pleasure, pleasure getting to know you the last uh, 17, 18, 19 years. It's been a long time, but it's flown by. Um, but wishing you nothing but the best and I know our paths will cross often and looking forward to working with the guys from the Kinsey's for the future also. All the best. We'll see you soon, I hope. Bye-bye. This is my land. It is mine. It is beautiful and it is mine. And our friendship began. I remember when you came out to me at a graduation party. Our trip across country so you could finish law school. Arriving at the airport to find you and Michael Bell dressed in drag, waiting to greet me and welcome me to the Bay Area. Your first day at NGRA. The Bette Midler concert that inspired you to create the Kinsey Six. I am thrilled Andrew Kananen did not show up to your date at the Midnight Sun. Our friendship began over 45 years ago. Wow. I'm so proud of you, Ben. Thank you for being. Congratulations and best of luck on your next adventure. Love you. So when I first met Ben, I'd been emailing with him and Erwin, so in 2002, 2003, but we'd never met in person. So I went to go see a show of theirs at some cabaret space in central New York City. And for those who have seen the Kenzies, they know one of the centerpieces of their show at that time was a song called Where the Goys Are. And the goal during that, that song is for them to find the waspiest looking person in the room, drag them up on stage and basically have Ben as Rachel assault that person. And without ever having met me and without my ever having met Ben, they chose me. And so my first encounter from lawyer to client with Ben Schatz with, with Rachel sitting on my knee singing where the goys are to my face, only later to find out that that was in fact her new lawyer. Happy retirement to you. Happy retirement to you. Happy retirement, Ben and Rachel. Did I ever tell you I love you? You know, this is why Ben has always been my hero. In 1981, just after I started at college, I saw Ben at Harvard Registration, and he was giving out leaflets to, for the Gay Students Association, which had just been formed. And it was not easy. Some of the like football players, they would like throw them back at him, but Ben did it, and he created an institution. And then at Harvard Law School, Ben did this amazing experiment where he sent out his resume uh, one with the gay affiliations, one without, and he saw how many more interviews he got uh, without the gay affiliations. And then he had his brilliant career and he made his contributions to the world of music. And 
they're pretty funny and he's pretty great and I'm sorry he's retiring but he was my hero then and he's my hero now and good luck Ben see ya hey little brother I'm so proud of you and what you do so proud that I'm making a video which you know I hate to do I told you that I was going to miss Rachel and you told me that Rachel would be around and I think that's true and looking back I think Rachel has been around my whole life and I don't know whether to take credit or blame for trying to teach little Benji table manners when you were five years old but in any case I love you and I'm proud of you and I'm looking forward to what you're going to do next. Hey there Ben, it's Erwin and I've, um, I've put off making this video because I haven't known really where to begin. Um, we, I've known you for more than half my life. We've been friends for more than half my life. We saw each other through heartbreaks and relationships, through move after move. We coaxed each other out of careers and set off on this uncharted path together, seeing the world, <laughs> visiting countries, visiting almost every state of the union, dealing with difficult people, but glorious audiences. You've been my support. You've challenged my thinking. You've um, changed my life over and over. Um, I wouldn't have the life that I have now if it had not been for you and your insistence and your drive and your incredible creativity. Um, I'm so grateful for this life I've been able to have and I'm grateful to you for giving it to me. There are times that I think to myself, if I only had an ounce of Ben's brilliance, what would I do with it? Um, but of course, I, I can't have an ounce of your brilliance. Although with some quick thinking and some well-placed bribes to some doctors in Mexico, I was actually able to get an ounce of your appendix, um, which is um, not the same, but still, it's, it's something. And, you know, and uh, I wanna know what this can do for me. Well, I don't need to do this on screen. Okay. Ben, I remember when you were in elementary school and were asked what you'd like to be when you grew up. You said you were going to be a senator or an actor. Well, you were showing predilections for both. You were already intensely interested in politics and social action. I remember you describing your almost daily political arguments with your fifth grade teacher, Mr. White, who was a Republican. And as a young peacenik, you made sure we attended every peace march and bus reach from Philadelphia. As for acting, from age eight, you took every opportunity available to be involved in theater. You wrote your first play in third or fourth grade, and when your class performed it at a school assembly, it got laughs for some clever gag lines. Every summer vacation from then through high school, your choice was to be enrolled in some theater program. When you graduated from Harvard, you decided against acting and chose to go to law school. Your dad envisioned you as the future Clarence Darrow, but you explained that you weren't really interested in practicing law you saw the law degree as a useful cre credential for a career as a gay activist. And that's been exactly the career path you followed, culminating, who would have guessed, in McKinsey 6, where as an a cappella drag queen, you could combine the love of theater with shows with strong political impact. Now, Neither you nor I know what's going to be, what you're going to be doing in the future. But whatever you choose, 
You can be sure that your ever-loving mom will be proud of you, as I've been proud of you in all of your choices. Love you, Ben. Hi. Not sure what I could say that others haven't said better, but I'm not above trying. When I first saw the Kinsey Six, it was 2005. I hung around after the show in order to gush. That's how we met. But this isn't about me, and I hate that. However, I'm not going to talk about the Kinsey Six. The brilliance of the group, the importance of the group, how many times I've seen the group. Stop. <sighs> Back to you. When I retired, a friend said to me, Linda Jane, you're not retiring, you're graduating. And while I may have had something to do with your decision to retire, I had nothing to do with the fact that you also just turned 60. Don't worry, you look years, no, weeks younger. And there's a good thing about aging. There aren't many good things about aging, but one of the nice things is that you don't lose all the other ages you've been. I will be 75 in August, but I'm still 39, still 19. Sometimes I'm still nine. And I have stood where you stand now. I have been 60. I am retired, although I waited until I was 70. But I've been where you are. And I want to say this. Ben, stop, breathe, the air is clear, look, the view is good, and the horizon is still far, far away. And so, my darling, happy graduation. It really is about you. Thank you, Rachel and Ben, for creating this crazy, impactful, influential, historical, important, and infamous, beautiful thing called Dragapella. Truly, because of you, this world is a better place. <laughs> oh, Trampy, <laughs> Trampy, don't cry. <laughs> it smells like she's still here with us. <laughs> Happy retirement to you.